Today I'll be looking for a mismanaged business on my Minecraft server to buy and flip into a profit. If all goes well, I should be able to turn an undervalued property into a money-making machine. So the first thing I gotta do is find someone to buy from, which means I had to grab an alternate account so that nobody knows who I am. Otherwise, they're gonna give me whatever I want. I mean, this is a pretty darn good casino, guys. Look how busy this one is. But I need to find one for sale. All right, here we go. So this is our first one we've seen so far. We're looking at, this is for 10,000. He says $10,000 he put in chat. 10K. It's, uh, it's kind of ugly. I'll be honest with you. See, so you guys, this is not bad, but it's $25,000. I mean, wow. He's got quite the interesting downstairs going on here. It's got the nether portal. He's got an upstairs. It's a weird design. Guys, I don't know where these people are getting their prices. $40,000 for a house that looks like this. 40,000? It's just empty. It's just it's worth like 10. That's worth like 10. This guy's dropped his price from 200 to 100K. I still don't think it's worth it. He's giving me a sign to negotiate. The art of negotiation, my friends. A burnt sign and a base that could use some improving. Let's see if we can get the price we want. Come on, buddy. The art of the deal. 15K cash. Let me have it. 15K. Yes. I just bought this base for $15,000. Honestly, it's like, it's pretty good detailed. Like there's a lot of good stuff to like here. There's also a lot not to like. I mean, first off, I don't know if a glass countertop is my vibe. I don't really know what that blue thing is right there. So we'll get a little bit of a cleanup in here real quick um, just to make it look better. All right, first thing I think we got to do in here is light this place up. It's a little bit dark. Maybe we put some carpet down. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to go to the shop then real quick, buy some carpet from this dude. And uh, I think we'll keep it classy. I'm going to go for a black carpet probably. Man, every time I come back in here, it really does hit just how dark this room actually is. I mean, my goodness. Yeah, if I put carpet down and then something underneath it, it'll still glow. So that way we can light up the floor and just put carpet all over and it'll look a lot better. It's a good start. I think we need a lot more, to be honest. The black might even make it more dark. It might be a bad move, but we can always change it later. For now, though, we got enough lights in here that we can at least see the walls and stuff. See, I really want this to look really classy because what we're going to do today is open up our very own golf course in Minecraft and try to sell and charge people to use the golf course. So this needs to be our front check-in desk. But the problem is, the way the sun is setting, there's no natural light that gets in. So I think what we want to do is open up this wall right here, and it's going to look a lot better. All right, how much better does that look already by just opening up that window right there? I mean, now we've got light casting inside. You can see it's so much nicer. If only this wasn't smashed inside of a giant cave right here, that side would be also a little bit lighter. People are going to come in. They're going to buy their tickets right here at the front office. This is where the desk will be. So we also kind of want to get rid of the kitchen because it's, it's not really a house anymore. I mean, this is a business. So let's get rid of all this. Oh, no way. This was actually full of items. Oh my gosh. A mushroom spot. Dude, that's got to be worth some money. 9,000 each. I bought the base for 20,000, which means, which means I literally just got half the cost back already, which is pretty insane. Guys, we are stocked up on items right now. And as a matter of fact, before we go finish that base, since I'm using an alternate account today, I can safely sell some of my rare items and not worry about people buying it just because it's me. So I have a skelly and a sheep spawner. Let's see what those go for. So skeleton is going for $450,000. I will do 475 and then we'll do this one for 50. All right. So maybe those will sell throughout this episode. We'll see. Let's at least get them on the market and see what happens. Because if they do sell, that'll literally double our money back to the desk we got to get this thing looking nicer what i'm making right now is the vip zone so i'm going to charge people just to enter the vip zone we'll give them like free food and stuff i think that's kind of a good idea though so to brighten the room up a little bit let's do a little bit of a design here something like that we do have an entire bedroom here which is kind of cool this guy just dm me said can i buy your skelly spawner for 410k if people are asking me to buy it that means that i should just leave it on the market and it should sell because people really want that All right, guys, did a bunch of shopping and a bunch of planning over the last couple minutes. The inside of the base looks okay. We want to get the actual golf course designed in such a way that you can only really play it if you pay to use it. So first things first, I think we're going to just light this up. All right, I lit up the outside area. You can see it a lot better now. You can see what we're working with here. A little bit of a weird cobblestone thing in the front of the house. I don't really like that. Let's flip it real quick to a little bit of something looks better. All right, swap the doors with some that look better because they kind of look like golf balls. Swap out the floor out front because it looks a little better. And now we begin the actual golf course. And to make this unenterable will be a very, very big challenge. So hole one is going to start right here with a nice little tee off. All right, obviously being hole one, though, it's going to be super easy. So it's literally going to be a straight line just like this. And then you throw whatever item you want. It'll slide along unless you throw it on top of the glowstone. Now that's going to be the hole. It's going to be a little bit deceiving because you're going to have to stand here to shoot because obviously there's glowstone in there, which will stop your item. And also we need some grass because all this stone is going to hurt us. Put down a sign that says like hole one so people know. So this is going to be a very easy starting point. Hole number one and then a little complimentary crafting table in case they need to get something for their first hole. And I think that looks great. All right, now I'm one to just say, hey, the land is telling us so this is the way to go. So this is the way we're going to go. So the next path will just come out of it right here through the stone and it will begin the next 
toll, which will be just a little bit more challenging, but nothing too crazy. All right, I'm not sure exactly. I think you're gonna start here. It'll be like a circle, all right? All right, here's number two. I think it looks pretty cool. And again, I've never seen anyone flip one of these before, so I don't know if the profit's gonna be super high or super low. We're about to find out though. Guys, it looks like our sheep spawner sold for $50,000, which is pretty nice to see. Now we just gotta sell the other one. We'll be at a million for the first time ever. Back here with some brand new items, and I'm going to make a little bit of a uh, end rod design choice, I think. All right, this is an experiment. Let's just see how this looks. I think it looks real classy. You don't need a fancy light. You just need a light that works. And that's exactly what we got here. All right, hole one done, hole two done. And guys, finally, the sun's out. Finally, after like an hour, we get the sun. Let's freaking go. I think we'll make, make it go downhill. That'll be interesting. And let's get some green carpet down to put on top of our golf course. We'll make that the hole right there. All right, let's give it a test shot real quick and see if you're standing right here. All right, all right. See, it's kind of hard. You would think it would slide down. You got to kind of just, I mean, you could launch it back there. And you could, you could get a hole in one. That's what I'd like to see. I want, to, I want it to be easy enough people can beat it. The stone, in my opinion, does look a little bit tacky to have for the golf course. So I think I'll just do a quick little replace here of all the stone. Okay, so I just kind of went through and replaced everything here for the most part with a bunch of uh, dirt. Kind of looks a little bit better now. We also have labels on every single course. The beginning is very clear. Hole number one right here. Boom. Hole number two, which I think is kind of creative. Hole number three has got the dip. Hole number four is coming up next. Let's build this course real quick. Let's do our first curved course, I think. Now, I'm not sure exactly how the profit's gonna be on this one. Now, we've already made $9,000, which is great from what we sold earlier. We've also got some other long-term projects going on, like the stuff from last episode, but I'm wondering if I'm gonna make a lot from charging people to use it or if someone's gonna buy it for a lot. So this one's got the ricochet bank shot. You gotta get into the hole right here. Moving on, what was that? Number four. I don't know. I got this idea on this one that it's like an extra super long course and then I'll like put something in the middle to like slow it down. It'll be a little bit creative on this one. We're trying to get a, just a smidge harder. I don't know if that's how golf is. Like I don't know if they get harder over time. But on ours. They get harder over time. All right. This one actually came out pretty well. So this is what hole five looks like. You've got to hit it all the way down this zigzaggy course and get it back there in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Good. You can squeeze it right through the line just barely, which is nice. Or is it confusing? That is a little confusing. You're right. That is confusing. I'm talking to myself right now, guys. That's what happens when you do these long builds like this. I think the path looks a lot worse, so I'm just going to take that out. All right. Hole five is looking good. Hole six might as well go right into the mountain or at least approach the mountain. I think it's about time we do something cool. Dang it, guys. I only have four pieces of ice left. We're going to have to buy some more ice, which is going to be kind of expensive. I think that was 8,000 for the first stack. Another 8,000 for the second stack. We spent 15,000 on the base. The ice in this base is worth more than the actual base. Let that sink in for a second. Yo, this course, this one right here actually came out pretty fire. I like this one a lot. So you got to hit it in straight, go around this little pillar here, and then the hole will be right there on the side. I believe that is hole number six. Put some lights back there just to make sure you can see if you get stuck. That looks pretty good. And then we'll take it right over here this way. I think hole seven is going to fit in nicely right in between. All right, guys, we have seven holes built on this thing. I'm not going to do all 18 because there's not enough room to do all 18 and I don't have it. I'm not going to make enough money. All right, there's a law of diminishing returns that hits us eventually. It needs like artwork. It needs like a decoration or a fountain. It needs like something. Like every time you go to a pup pup course, it's got something really cool and iconic. Guys, I am literally taking my own anvil to go put in that base. Like I literally just plucked my own one up because I'm out of iron and I think I sold it all or something. So guys, I'm going to take the skeleton spawner off the market, relist it, lower it to $449,000 on the AH because I really want to get that thing sold today to hit that fat milli. And now we've got, I think what we need to make this really interesting decorative item that we'll put right in the center. And if you watch one of my older videos, you might remember a hack that kind of looked like this. And I don't know, I really don't know how it's going to turn out because I'm trying to do this from memory. Really hard to place that. There it is. Okay. And then we got... This should come out, if I did this right, looking like a giant robot. I mean, we want to give it two little wings, make another staircase. And then I got Japan flags because I thought that'd be kind of sweet to put on this thing. We could also even use rods to light it up around the side. See, it looks like he's holding the Japan flag. Like, that is so cool. Who said these TikTok hacks were worthless, guys? That's not what I meant to do. Actually, you know what? You know what? Hold up. That could be cool. It looks like he has earmuffs on. He's holding a shield. And then he's also got like uh, a Japanese flag. If I put one in the center, will it ruin it? Actually, no. It looks like he's wearing like a waist thing, like a belt. That's freaking awesome. I wasn't necessarily going for a Japanese warrior, but here we are. And I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not a big golfer, but what I do know is they generally have fences surrounding the property in at least some way, shape or form. Uh, I'm going to fill this whole thing in with dirt right here. 
All right, finally, let's add a little bit more detail in here to make this thing look good. Like, what if we had like a little bit of a rail kind of coming out of a wall here? I think it'd look kind of cool. For example, something like that, as if it's going back into the corner to wrap around. We'll put like a little glow thing right there to make sure people see it. And then over here, I want it to kind of look like an art piece where I have a bunch of these all spread out kind of randomly, but in a way that it kind of just gives it like a nice little ambient feel as you're playing. And I don't know if it's going to look good, but I know that it sounds like it could be good. See, I think that looks kind of decent. All right, now there's two ways that I could do this, guys. What I want to do is open this up. I think it's a pretty darn good golf course for only spending, I don't know, 20 or so thousand dollars on this thing. I need to see if anyone's going to pay to play it because if they do, then I could keep this long term and start making money. If they don't, I'll just sell the entire course and make some money that way. The inside of the base, I really didn't touch a whole lot. Just kind of made it as a new desk right here. One thing we'll do though, add like a sign. I feel like people need to really um, know this is a check-in desk. I got a VIP zone, 25K to enter. It really offers no benefits except flexing on people. All right, how's that? look the vip zone now is impossible to enter unless you actually pay us to get in through the front gate so as far as i'm concerned we're about ready to go so what i'm gonna do is create like a little bit of a starting cage right here and i say cage for a reason because i'm hoping i can get people to teleport and then make them pay to release them glass i feel like glass is a great idea to use in the front of it because with the glass they'll be able to see the entire course and realize what they're missing out on if they don't pay don't really know what we're doing here with the design, but uh, it is—it is got a little bit of a flavor to it. And so this is what it looks like. They can see the course. There's all the signs. Once they pay me, I'll let them outside. So I'm gonna do a little bit of chat work and see what happens. Well, that one didn't work. This is where things get hard. You've got to find a way to stand out among all of the other players that are also spamming all their shops. How do you do it? It's not easy. It's not easy at all. We got one, guys. We got one. Honkers has come. Here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. Let's see if they buy any. Let's see if they buy any. Well, this guy escaped. All right, I'm gonna make it 100% free. All right, I said teleport to play mini golf 100% free. I just wanna get some people to play it at first because then if it's a very busy place or people wanna play, if they wanna pay me, they can. All right, so here people are coming, here people are coming. They're getting started on the course. We've got a small group here and that's what I need because if I'm gonna flip this base, if people are here and they're active, then it's more likely that it's gonna sell. Come on, buddy. Oh, he gave me some free meat, that's good. He doesn't want to enter the VIP zone. I'll tell you what, guys, even though we haven't sold it quite yet, it is very wholesome to see this going on right now with people out there jumping around, trying to just trying to play and just enjoying it. Thank you for playing. I hope you had fun. Now, I just checked this dude's balance. He's got over a million dollars. So I'm going to really suck up to him, to be honest with you. This guy is three million. So I'm going to play the noob card. I really want one of these guys to pay me with three million dollars, dude. If I could get just a small percentage of that, just a small percentage of you could subscribe as well. But if this dude would pay me some money, that'd be sweet. Consider donating if you liked it. Oh my gosh, he donated a hundred. K. We just got $100,000, folks. That's how you do it. Make it free. Would you want to buy? This is where the profit comes in, guys. So 100,000 in so far. This guy's been here for a while. We've already established that he's all he's quite rich. 5,000 from one guy, Galaxy Toaster. He just paid me to play it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got another batch. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just here seeing who's rich. He's not rich. He's not rich. Dang, we got some poor people. That dude has $166. He ain't gonna donate nothing. He can't even afford to buy a pork chop. So if I could sell this thing for 70, that'd be a pretty good profit. This guy offered me 10k that's my first offer ten thousand dollars that's cheaper than i paid for the original so i don't think that's a great deal just got another fifty dollars that's not what we want guys we may have ourselves a deal i said i'd sell it to this dude for sixty five thousand dollars all right all right guys he has sent us the full payment to think someone sold me this for 15k i sold it for 65k made about 200 made about a quarter million on it to be honest with you with all the donations and stuff so guys if you want to play on this server you know where to find it play.loverfella.com peace